I have a very special guest. I'm really Whoa. excited about talking to him. Whoa. I, I'm going to say future, future Hall of Famer. Edgar Martinez, Edgar, Michael K, Don LaGreca, and Peter Rosenberg back in the studios. How you doing? Good. How you guys doing? Doing well. Uh, I've never understood mm. why you've been on the ballot as long as you have. You're one of the best hitters I've ever seen in my life, and it seemed like they held the DH against you. Did you feel that that, that way as well? Well, it looks like uh, that was the argument uh, between writers, and, uh, you know, it's... Um, uh, at the same time, it looks like it's changing now. And Harold but, Baines just got in. Yeah, Harold Baines got in and uh, well deserved it. Mm -hmm. He's uh, one of the best leaders of his era as well. And um, um, I think it's, gonna, it's also could help my case. Is it nerve wracking waiting for this vote to come in? Waiting for that? Because this is the last year on the ballot. You know, it's been uh, this process it's been for nine years. Right. Uh, I got used to it. Um, obviously, last year was a good turnaround. Uh, uh, Seventy percent is is a big number. Um, it's looking good this year. Mm -hmm. But I think it's. Um, I made my mind that uh, if I don't have control, I'm not gonna worry about it. I uh, just wait, and um, if it happens, uh, that will be jumping. And if it's not, then, uh, you know, it's, uh, that's life. But it's a big deal. I mean, it let's is. be honest. It's it a is. big deal. I mean, I mean, you're part of forever if you're in the Hall of Fame. Yes, yeah. And it's a great uh, honor, obviously, and uh, a dream if it happens. Uh, um, but uh, it helped me just to stay sane. Now, obviously, this is a show that's in New York. Yankee fans get sick thinking about you. Why did you own Mariano Rivera when no one else did? I've, I've spoken to Mariano about it. He said, I couldn't get Edgar Martinez out. What did you do that others could not do? You know, I think it's, it's more what I didn't do. You know, I didn't try to do too much uh, mm -hmm. against Mariano. Power pitcher with a lot of movement on his cutter. Uh, I think every time I tried to overswing, it's, uh, I failed. So I decided, you know, he's mm -hmm. one of those... Uh, pitchers that you don't, you can't do too much uh, at the play. Just try to just try to meet the ball, the ball with the bat, and hope for a, for a base hit. Uh, it was very tough. He never felt like an easy at bat. It, it was a battle when you uh, faced Mariano. So speaking of New York, of course, 1995. Did, how did you guys stay up? How did you guys stay engaged after dropping the first two games of that series? You know, I think that September, we played such a great baseball in September. Uh, it almost fell in September that we were playing a, a playoff game uh, almost every day. Um, we had many games <clears throat> that we came back late in the game. Um, and every night was a different guy coming through for the team. Um, that gives us a lot of confidence uh, uh, going into uh, the playoff. Uh, we lost the two uh, games uh, in New York. And I remember coming back on the plane where they're thinking, we're in this team. We, we just need to tomorrow win tomorrow. We win the series. Uh, Lou Pinella was a big uh, believer of that and of that also. And... Uh, you know, we knew coming to, to Seattle, the fans uh, were going to be engaged in the game. And that was, that was uh, that's what happened. They were that extra player for us. Uh, they really helped our series. Now, obviously, you're involved with the Mariners, and, and both New York teams made big deals for Mariner players. Let's talk about James Paxton first. How do you think he'll do in New York? How will he handle the whole Yankee scene in New York? I think he will do, do just fine. Obviously, at the beginning, he probably is going to need some known for him a little bit, being in that scenario. But um, he has grown a lot the mm -hmm. last uh, uh, three years. Um, he became, he slowly became like the leader of the staff, uh, taking ownership in the, um, uh, of the, the whole staff. And uh, he, he's, uh, he was basically like a leader on the pitching staff. So that's going to help a lot. That means he's owning. Right. Um, so the pressure in New York won't get to him, you don't think? You know, I think he's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. think, just give him, you know, a few weeks, uh, you know, a few starts to get used to it, um, and he will be okay. He competes. He knows that he's a competitor. He, he will go out and compete once he takes him out, and obviously he got great stuff.
So I think it's going to be just fine. How about Edwin Diaz with the Mets? How will he translate to New York? Will he be able to handle New York? I think so, too. Um, yeah, same uh, makeup, competitor, and uh, has grown a lot the last three years. Uh, um, I think, it, you know, it's going to be okay in New York. He's a younger uh, uh, player, pitcher, but... Uh, uh, he will be fine. And Robinson Cano obviously played with the Yankees, so you know he can handle New York. How was he when he came back after the suspension? He was okay. I mean, he was um, he was good. Uh, the team, everybody welcomed him, you know, uh, and uh, uh, he was he was good in the clubhouse. Uh, obviously, he went out and played hard like he always do. And um, uh, everything was okay when he came back. Is it a little depressing that they're, I mean, they are essentially starting over with the Mariners. They're trading their best players and getting younger players back that could contribute in a couple of years. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, every team uh, goes through this uh, period. Um, I think what I'm encouraged is, uh, encouraged uh, off is that I know Jerry does a really good job putting teams together. Um, even... It looks like it's going to go younger. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's, uh, he knows the ballpark that we're playing in. He knows what we need. And uh, he, he's going to, I think he's going to do what we have to do to put all those pieces together. He does a great job putting teams together. 116 wins. And then you guys didn't win the World Series. Does it feel like you didn't win 116 games that year? Yeah, that's the way it feels. Yeah. It really does. So you need to validate like the yeah. Yankees did when they won 114. Yes, yeah. you know, it's, um, that's the way it feels. Uh, the goal is to make it to the World Series and win the World Series, not to win 116. And that's pretty amazing, 116. Yeah. It is. I mean, we felt like, okay, we can win any game. Mm -hmm. We can be out completely and then still come back. How much did Lou want to beat the Yankees every single game? <laughs> 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 he didn't like losing to the Yankees. I bet. Uh, I bet. But, uh, you, you know, Louis, uh, he loved winning and he hates losing mm -hmm. against uh, any team. Uh, but, yeah, he, he didn't like at all to lose me with, with the Yankees. Edgar, we thank you for dropping by. I wish you the best of luck when the Hall of Fame voting comes out. Uh, obviously, you're a Hall of Famer. The DH thing I never understood. It's a position. You didn't make it up for yourself. <laughs> you played a position that was out there. And the reason you ought to be a DH was you tore your hamstring in Vancouver, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was a recurring injury for me over time. So right. It was, that's the case, but... Uh, you know, I did the best I could in the age. So. You did pretty good. <laughs> Mariano Thank says you. you did pretty good. Nice to see you, Edgar. Good to see you.